Hey there. My name is Daryl Woods. I work at Adult Services at Hollywood St. Paul's, and this is 10 Quick Facts About Art. So today, April 15th, is World Art Day. It also happens to be my anniversary. My wife and I have been married for 32 years, and that required a little bit of artwork as well. Number two, from 1912 to 1948, Olympic medals were given out for painting, music, sculpting, literature, and other artwork. Number three, Mona Lisa was not an internationally famous painting until 1911 when it was stolen from the Louvre. People flocked to see the exhibit to see the place where the painting used to hang rather than when it was there and nobody went to go see it. Uh, Pablo Picasso was considered a prime suspect in its theft due to the fact that he was in possession of other stolen art from the museum. Not to say that Pablo Picasso was an art thief. He just wasn't necessarily above purchasing stolen art. Number four, only one Van Gogh painting, the red vineyards at Arles that you see here, was ever purchased during Van Gogh's lifetime. It's a little tragic. Number five, those famous Easter Island heads are actually attached to in-ground bodies. It's not just the heads. Number six, there's an art museum in New Jersey that consists of nothing but spoons. There are over 5,400 of them, but they are rotated so that there are only about 250 of them on display at a given time. Number seven, the world's largest statue is none other than Mount Rushmore. Number eight, Salvador Dali claimed that he was not himself, but his deceased older brother, who was also named Salvador, instead. So apparently, um, Salvador Dali's older brother died before he was born. And so his parents told him that he was the reincarnation of his brother, his long dead older brother, and he believed them, um, that he was not actually himself, but he was indeed his older brother. All right, so this painting here, you used to be able to see Jesus's feet. Uh, in 1652, some builders were installing a doorway, and instead of removing the piece to do so, instead they cut right into the painting, removing Jesus' feet. And number 10, contrary to popular belief, Michelangelo did not paint the scening of the Sistine Chapel while lying on his back, but by standing upright. And he was 71 years old at the time of doing that. I can only imagine how badly his back must have hurt. So I want to thank Maya, who does such a great job of uh, compiling these pictures and images and creating these uh, slides for us to view. She does a great job. Um, couldn't do it without her. And if you enjoyed this, and I certainly hope that you did, I think you'll also going to enjoy our virtual trivia night. It happens every Thursday at 8 p.m. Just go to Facebook and type in virtual trivia night, or you can go to the URL that you see here. Thank you very much, and until next time, enjoy yourself.